what's up YouTube I got a video for you guys um, I've been messing around with some settings on the phone and uh, apparently the first method to get your screen to 1080p is no go on a stock ROM but if you want to blow things up a little bit uh, you can download the build prop editor let's go down go to this option right here if it'll focus go to ro.sf.lcd density and you can increase it to like 650 or 670 or whatever but don't get too carried away right now mine is at a 650 and this is what it will look like as you guys can see everything seems to be fine it's a bit blown up a little bit but you can increase it now if you try to go to with the method on a stock ROM uh, to bring your screen to 1080p uh, it will not look right I've messed with every single thing I can to bring it to 1080p and mess with the DPI and all that kind of stuff and it just wouldn't work for me so apparently what they're saying is that the feature will only run very well when it's on the ASPO what kind of ROMs are they? These are you supposed to do shit when well, you got so much shit on your mind. ALSP ROMs, there you go. And I'll link the post in there for you guys. Let's zoom in and I'll show you. Right there. This will only work on AOSP ROMs like CyEngine Mod. Uh doing this on stock or stock based ROMs will brick break many apps and that's true because I had it set on 1080p and I've did what this guy has posted uh, having the phone ranging from 290 to 350 and the apps will not work anything lower to anything lower than uh, 530 DPI the apps will not work so this uh, for stock ROMs like I did will not work but you can increase the DPI and right now mine is set at 650 everything's a bit bigger but you can mess around with it but be sure to make a backup of your device or you're going to cause yourself to have a brick device or something's not going to work right so I don't know what the highest you can go but I'm not going to try that because I'm going to uh, switch from Jasmine to uh, CyEngine Mod to help this person out who requested a 1080p I'm pretty sure they are on Cyanger mod and they're like uh, how do you do it so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna give everybody a warning right now if you want Cyanger mod and you're in a different ROM and you're dealing with the things called boot stacks uh, be sure to KDZ your device uh, so that way you start out fresh and there's a reason why to it uh, if you try to go to a different ROM and you try to do different boot stacks or the same one, uh, you're going to cause your device to be bricked. And I mean, you will look like, oh my god, I killed my phone, it doesn't work no more. Well, you can fix your device, which there is a video coming up soon. So let me describe the issue and then I'll get to CyEngine Mod. The issue is, is when you start your phone, you get an LED light coming on but anything else is blank your screens blank you can't get into download mode or whatever but I will show you guys a trick to force your phone into download mode and then getting your phone recovered so I'm gonna be purposely uh, brick my phone just to show you guys how to get it fixed but right now I'm just gonna KDZ it so I can finish up these videos so I'm hoping that will help you guys with stock ROMs changing the DPI so let me kick on on over to Cyanjin Mod and we'll get we'll uh I'll show you how to do the 1080p way. What's up everybody? I'm going to do a uh video. I've done this plenty of times and keep having screw ups and everything. 
Uh, this is CyAngine Mod 13 for LG G3 VS985. What you guys need to do is download the terminal emulator. First thing is you need to type in SU. It's very hard to do it this way. But you type in SU. The next command you're going to be typing in is WM space size. Let's see. Space. 1080p, well not 1080p, but just 1080 x 1920. There's the command right there. WM size 1080 by 1920. Once you hit enter. Your screen will flicker. I've already done this already just to play around with it, see what it will do. And uh, go ahead and hit home. Go to settings. Display. Uh, LCD density, and I changed mine to uh, 480. And that's what mine looks like. The only thing you're going to be seeing that's off is the logo when Cyanjin Mod boots up. Which I'll be showing you guys that. where the icon will jump from here to here because it sets off on the 4K display and then it goes back down to 1080p but as you guys can see everything looks like it runs just fine internet your apps uh, play store so they're not all screwed up or whatever and it's made for uh, these types of ROMs here. If you try to do this on stock, everything will look blown up. It will not look right, and it will just look like shit. Some people claim that it works for stock. Yes, it will work. It won't break it, but it just makes it look like shit. So this is how you guys can put your G3s down to 1080p on CyanogenMod.